Okay, my swine. Merry Christmas to you all. Um, we're here on the 25th of December 2020. And with my Christmas present, which is also my dad's, because, you know, we figured what the hell. We've been speaking about this for years, you know, building something like this up. And basically, yeah, this is the TT top. Uh, TT01 Type E chassis. Um, this chassis is an electric motor, uh, four wheel drive driven uh, remote control. And yeah, I'm going to be basically this is my project for a little bit, which is nice. And yeah, this is also it's Volkswagen approved. Yeah, Cami, <whistles> say hello. And yeah, it comes with extra little options that you must that you could buy later. The battery pack, the remote control, that all doesn't come in in the pack. So yeah, it does come with your options. And yeah, it's fully customizable. You can change the body, you can replace the body, and yeah, it's it's basically gonna come out perfect every time. And it's a talk tune motor, so yeah, it should be fun. Let's see now. Open up this up. Put that over there. Would you like to hold this? Because now we're getting gritty stuff. So yeah, this is the shell. Obviously, it's got a protective film layer over here. Hence the the no notches. And basically, you'll be painting in on the inside. So no matter how shit you are as an artist or a painter. You'll get the outside perfect every time. And yeah, we, we thought start off with the Schrucker because, you know, it's a Volks, Volkswagen and it's a lacquer little toy to start with. Then, yeah, you've got a bunch of uh, little packs in here. I'm guessing this is to do with the motor and the prop shaft and everything. This is the main, main chassis part. So... Yeah, your battery pack, your motor, and everything will go in there. Yeah, I've had a look at this in the, this morning. And, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, this is obviously to do with the suspension, the control of the car. So it's like got the control arms, it's got the, the skid plates, and yeah, that's very cool. And the nice thing about this car is it's got its own suspension, so it basically runs like a normal car. This, I think, has to do more with the under part of the car, the protective stuff. And then we get to the wheels, and I we get the, the sticky tires, which are also, they're, they're made of rubber, and yeah, they're pretty spongy, which seem to uh, kind of be quite fun when we get to start to play with this and then we have the BBS RS GTs as the stock so to say part of the car I like this it's one of my favorite rooms to use and got some sponge here for the car obviously that's got to do with some sort of protection of the front end or the rear end and this is the wing the, uh, the mirrors and I haven't quite figured out what this is here. I probably will when I start fixing it, putting it together. Cammy's just chilling me. Yeah, and this is all to do with the car. Smallest fucking T bar you've ever seen. It's got all the screws, some zip ties. Mm, those might come in handy, especially with my dad driving. Um. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out what a lot of these are, but these are all little parts that obviously work to the functioning of the car. Uh, and there's my Nemesis paint. I mean, not paint, um, glue. Fuck, every time me and glue get together, it ends up being a catastrophe. And here are the metal parts. Obviously, I'm guessing this has got to do with the suspension, the springiness of the car. And then you have the the motor which obviously this goes to the electric um, and this drives obviously I guess 
which seems to be a lot of fun. And then we have the prop shaft and all the little nitty gritty stuff. Obviously with the prop shaft you can get an aluminum one which gives the under chassis a prettier look. But yeah, this is this is my type of thing. It's like me doing the dioramas too, and it's you know it's the little parts that I like doing. And this I'll probably work through very quickly. This is more washes and stuff. And then yeah, this is the controller part. All those I've shown you. A bunch of little instruction manuals. Yeah, this all goes to the functioning of the car, so I've got to, like, read that as I go through the car. And then, we got some cool stickers. I love stickers. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. You've got some caution things, which I might not even put in the right spot. I might put it to the customization of the car. Got the little lights and everything. It all seems to be high detail. So, yeah, and... Yeah, the car's like almost fully customizational. Uh, you can equip it for, with LED lights, you can change the wheels, you can change the body. So if you don't want a Scirocco, you can go with a Subaru or a Lancia. I saw they had an HF Integrale there. And they had a bunch of Fords, you know, they, they even had an old um, VW Combi, you know, the, the big one. The, the, the more rounder one from like the 50s. They had those which I thought was pretty cool and then the wind protective window stickers and stuff which I think is cool so yeah I'm I'm definitely gonna be starting this today Ooh, what's this hmm I didn't see this the first time oh well that'll go back in there maybe that's got to do with something cool but yeah that's my little toy Use my little baby. She's looking at the camera funny, obviously, because she's a weird dog. And she started kicking the cars. Obviously, Camaros don't like Scirocco's. Camaros have got power. Oh well. And that should be me signing it off.